this is the Darwin Rover channel and for today's video I have this project to share with you guys which is a fold down desk. Let me show you. So this features a cabinet here where you can hold all sorts of things and this project is great if you have a limited amount of space and you want to gain an extra work surface but then you want to be able to close it up and gain that floor space when, when you're not using it. And now I have a free set of plans for this project and yeah let's get into the video. Okay, so first up, the cabinet for the wall. This is 3 quarter inch cherry plywood. To construct the cabinet, using a locking dado here. The dado should be half the thickness of the wood used. The shelves are held in place with dados, and this time the dado is the full thickness of the wood. So good idea to pre-finish before assembly, but you don't want any finish where the piece is going to connect with the glue. This method of construction with the locking dados was chosen because of the stress a fold-out table will exert. It's a strong joint, especially when it comes to plywood. So the legs are cut out of solid cherry. Now the hinges used to connect the legs to the tabletop measured two and a half inches wide. So the legs need to be that wide at least. To make the legs a little less chunky and give a nice profile, adding a taper here. And then using the same type of construction by cutting a dado in the legs to add a stretcher. So the tabletop will connect to the cabinet with a brass piano hinge and it's easy to cut to size on the bandsaw. Next up, putting on trim first, then laying the tabletop piece right next to the cabinet and screwing in the hinge temporarily because it's a lot easier to get the screw holes all prepared ahead of time so that everything lines up when it's time for the final assembly. For this video, I partnered with Refrigerware, and it's thanks to companies like these that I can make videos for you guys, so thank you. Now, I don't know about you, but I really like working outside, as long as I'm not cold. Refrigerware offer a range of clothes that will ensure that you can spend long periods of time outside and get the work done, no matter whether you're in construction or working around your property or whatever it is that you do. You can find clothes here that are made for different temperatures, ranging from pretty mild to absolutely freezing, and they're all very well made and comfortable to move around in. 
I've had a chance to try quite a few of their pieces, but I must say my favorite, especially for colder days, is definitely their overalls. They're great because when you wear these, you're covered, so you don't get cold anywhere, plus you don't have to worry about getting dirty either. For milder temperatures, I also really like their jackets and vests. Now, to learn more about them, check out the link in the description below. Thanks so much for supporting the channel, and now let's get back to work. Okay, so next step here is attaching the legs and the stretcher to the bottom of the tabletop, um, which also has a pretty chunky trim around it, uh, which has been rounded on the edges. Now, since this is a folding table, the legs need to be able to fold up and down, so attaching them with hinges. As you can see, the legs are also slightly inset and not all the way to the edge. And all the specific measurements and placements are all listed in the plan, which you can find in the description. Attaching a nailing strip here. Also adding trim, and these are simply slivers of cherry hardwood. Next thing to solve is the question of collapse. So as of right now, the legs can easily bend over simply by touching. And it would be very annoying if you had a bunch of stuff on the table and accidentally kicked it in and the whole thing collapsed. So to solve that, we're doing a little pinned in bracket. So this is how it will work. The small piece attaches underneath the table. It is important that this piece doesn't interfere with the position when the legs are down. Then the other piece gets pinned in and attached to the side of the leg. And it's important that this hole isn't tight and also going to be adding some nylon washers as well, so it can easily pivot. So the easiest way to install the unit is to secure the wall cleat into the studs so the top is at 28 inches. Then place the cabinet above without the top attached on the cleat and screw into the studs through the nailing strip. Then it's easy to secure the tabletop with the piano hinge through the holes previously made and that ensures the height is correct. So the top of the table for this plan measures 28 and 3 quarter inches, which I think is quite perfect. But of course it's easy to adjust by simply changing the placement of the cabinet and the length of the legs. So as you can see, this table is not going to accidentally collapse if you happen to bump into the legs. It's quite sturdy. So this is a nice feature, I think, uh, to just ensure that it's gonna stay in place when you have it down. To ensure the tabletop is secured in place when up, I'm screwing in a knob. Oh, and I'm planning on plugging this hole with a dowel later, hence the larger drill bit. Then at the top, adding a piece of leather, cutting a hole into it so it fits through the knob. And then it's kind of like a hook. So 
So far, I've only added shellac on this whole unit, but I'm planning on adding some oil-based varnish on the whole piece, and I will probably give the tabletop a couple of coats. You know, just to give it some extra protection since it's going to be used a lot, you know, working on it and doing different things on it. So I put some of my favorite things in the cabinet here, my typewriter, writing box, books, um, but of course there are many different ways that you can use a cabinet like this. I am planning on eventually putting some of my leather and sewing supplies in here, but I can also imagine you know, like painting and art supplies um, or books and you know photography equipment. Um, everything is kind of nice and protected once you close the uh, the door or the <laughs> close the door, close the table up, which is kind of nice. So I decided to go with nice cherry plywood and hardwood for this project, but obviously you can just use regular plywood and paint it and maybe have some hardwood accents. Um, you know, it doesn't have to go quite this direction. You can just use scrap material and what you have on hand. Uh, but I could picture putting these in different places of my house because it's a really versatile piece. I really like it. Um, and yeah, I have a free set of plants if you would like to make one yourself as well. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have any questions, if there was something that wasn't clear in the comments below. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye!